So like it's actually like he's being acquitted. Okay. Like he's him, done. Him being oh, like, Trump yeah, it's, it's pretty much secure that the Senate is going to acquit him, and their witness statements are not available for trial. Wow. All they're posting pretty much underneath like the news caption is that the Senate is set to acquit him the day after his speech. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So Trump is That's being acquitted. And that's bullshit. Okay, here's my question to you guys. Though. Yeah. What, yeah. What did you expect to happen differently? I oh no, I didn't expect to it to go different. I'm I just. I'm surprised. It, it is straight up. Place. It is just. It is just a denial of the law. That is the thing that mm-hmm. I think that is, like, just the bedrock of it is that it's the denial of the law. And I'm just like, this is exactly what I thought would happen. I'm not actually surprised. I'm just not frustrated happy. because yeah. yeah, because it's just like hello. Hello to exactly the rule. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, so like we set out these rules for a reason. Hearing, like, why would you go as far as to say we have evidence that he's done something wrong? It's because, and then acquit him it's because those that evidence. decided whether or not he was impeached were Democrats, and those that decided whether or not he got, like, acquitted or taken out of or office Republicans. were Republicans. Because Republicans have a majority. It's because it's a different yeah. set of people that are handling it. No, so, so you them all being off like, somehow. nah, he didn't rape that girl, it's fine. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> so, so here's what I would present. There's this YouTuber I listen to quite quite commonly. His name is Kyle Kalinske. And he's been saying for well over a year now is that we should not go after impeaching Trump because it's most certainly not going to pass ever. Clearly not. So why, no. why spend time, energy, and money into doing this thing that is basically a show when instead you could spend that time and effort into actually improving the lives of, you know, Americans and, you know, looking to actually pass legit bills that can help. Instead of doing because something that they have that's... to look like the super good guys to the ones that really hate Trump. It's well, just a battle and everything of the I'm back seeing keeps talking about like the Democrats mm-hmm. seem to be very proud of the fact that being impeached at all is like a stain on being the president. And I'm like, I guess that's fair, but it was definitely for Richard Nixon. But Clinton is not like that's kind of remembered as a funny scandal. Like nobody gives a shit about the fact that he was impeached. Yeah, and all the predictions that were coming out was that if if this impeachment were, were to go through, given that it would not go through, you're saying stain, but I think most people were thinking that it would actually, sorry, it would, uh, it would up his poll ra- ratings, and it did, yeah. unsurprisingly, yeah. because if you, again, you're, no, you're doing a pointless show. for who they think is the underdog, and that's always the thing. They're I don't know if it's necessarily underdog under, thing. Like the government's scope. Sure, but I think it's more so that people are like, okay, so you guys are doing this thing that you know isn't going to hurt this guy. Right, so wh- why are you why are you doing this? Are you just grandstanding? If if your p- whole party is about just grandstanding, then screw it. We don't want to be with you guys because well, I don't you know think what that's I mean? their the point. Time. But I think you're right that the yeah. point might be misguided. Yeah, if if you're yeah. just doing a grand, knowing that you're not gonna achieve anything, if you're I just gonna grandstand, I think a lot of the, time, think the, the moment... populist thinks that the government is automatically wrong. So at the point where you have a bunch of people who are saying, "Oh, Trump is wrong." Anyone who's in the middle is suddenly like, oh, well, maybe they're attacking the little man. Like, they're attacking yeah, the right. person who And then the him. moment he gets acquitted, all of the people that might have been on the fence about it are now suddenly, suddenly going to be like, him. oh, he's okay. It's right then. here, yeah. yeah. All right, take care. Yeah, we have yeah, a second I'm stop now. I don't know where it is. Yeah, I'm good now. <laughs> <laughs> sorry to start shit. Thank no, it's right. perfect. Oh, right. Love you, honey. Take care. Love you, Heather. So, further, a little bit of further <laughs> digging into this, um, man, what was I gonna ask? It completely escaped me. All I know is we were talking about Trump. <laughs> yeah, no, I had a very good question that I was about to throw at you guys, uh, but it just completely. Oh yeah, okay. So, uh, I think I think the premise, the problem with this, the, this whole situation, is that I could point to any president that's come before Trump, and they were definitely impeachable. Every single one of them. Maybe with the exception of Carter. But every other guy has committed like war crimes of several sorts. And not to say that it's good and we shouldn't hold these guys accountable. But the thing is that the job of the U.S. presidency has come with committing impeachable offenses in the last several decades. So the question becomes, if you're going to start this impeachment process, even though it, it's, you know, in logically it makes sense to, you know, try to... Uh, prosecute somebody who's breaking the law. Question becomes: 
do you do this now for every president that you disagree with? Well, that's my biggest fear is that certain presidents, although they might have done something that was debatable, they're not know, even debatable or, though. That's the thing. Like or, or Obama, Bush, Clinton, done, or explicitly done. My, I didn't fear that Obama was going to become a dictator. Sure, but Obama also started a bunch of illegal wars. But also, and he killed millions of, or I guess okay, hundreds I have, of thousands of people, right? I have, like, the main point is that referring to others' wrongs doesn't right the current wrong. True, that's what and, I said too, right? And, and also beyond that, I, I can't give you exactly everything that was done by previous presidents that were illegal, but the biggest issue that I have with this is that it genuinely is an attack on the democracy because what they did to break the law was to try and essentially rig an election. That is the whole point of this, is that he was trying to use his power as the president to continue being president. And that's the fear of the dictator because if that is allowed to be allowed, then you are saying that democracy means nothing. So when you talk about election rigging, you mean like back in 2016? No, I'm talking about I'm talking about now because the whole thing that he's being impeached for is that he was trying to he was trying to get dirt on Biden as his political opponent so that he could win the election because he right. sees Biden as his main opponent. I see. And the thing is, is that he's using his power as the president to try and secure his presidency. And they were even trying to defend that that's okay because he thinks it's in the best interest of the people. But everybody thinks they're in the best interest of the yeah, people. Yeah, but Hillary and did you that can't last use, time around But there, that's right? my point. You can't use the power of the presidency to prove that being the president is the right choice for people. That is just a dictatorship. And that's what scares me about this more than anything else. It's not that he's a president that broke the law. It's that he's a president that broke the law that flies in the face of being a president at all. Right. Okay, fair enough.